Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to discuss a more serious topic with various speed paints in the background. So, if you're not involved in the horror RPG community, you wouldn't be aware that the developer of Mugeko Castle, Deep Sea Prisoner, is very problematic. Here's all the stuff they have done. There's a lot of sexual assault scenes in their games. A lot of the characters that they make like to torture people or are in some uh, some way or another a rapist. I used to really support them. I was a very big fan of their games, but I'm no longer supporting them. Not like supporting them does anything to them anyways, because literally the, they do not make any money from their work. Maybe with a few exceptions, I'm not sure. But they have to be stopped. They cannot keep putting very inappropriate characters into their games. To name a few examples, the Magekos are very much infatuated by high school girls. So they're like pedophiles, basically. And Mogeko is basically also infatuated with the main character who is a high schooler and a minor. The game also shares an example of incest with the main character being so infatuated with her brother. I mean, sure, that could just be like a sibling love, but it's a very fucked up and twisted kind of love. One of their characters enjoys torturing people. Actually, multiple characters probably enjoy torturing people. Another character kills and rapes their prey. It's a lot of really fucked up stuff. It's more than just the mug echoes being pervy. More than just that. They're rapists. This is just disgusting. This is stuff that we should not be encouraging. But people are making edits with Iblis and Satanic and Licorice and it's just... No, please do not. That ship is... First of all, very toxic. Second of all, it's it's awful. Absolutely awful. Because both Iblis and Satanic are awful. Awful people. If you're gonna say, oh, they're just fictional though, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Because it just goes to show the kind of person you are. If you support somebody who makes rapist fictional characters. Or fictional characters that enjoy torturing minors. Like, I would totally support them if literally most of their characters weren't rapists. If you are someone who is an advocate for rape survivors, then you wouldn't support that kind of behavior at all. I wouldn't, as a sexual assault survivor myself.
this cannot go on much longer. Because multiple people have called them out on their actions on the internet. What they've done is disgusting. There is no excuse for it. You can't just change immediately because if if you make games with rapist characters or minors that are constantly being sexually assaulted, you're a terrible person, no matter what, regardless if you change or not. That sort of thing is unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. I do not see why you would support somebody like that. Anybody. Because that's a huge no-no. Absolutely. And the sad thing is a lot of the fandom just sits there making their silly little edits. And nothing gets done about anything that they have done. This cannot keep going on at all. Their behavior is disgusting. And they're basically a pedophilia apologist. It's, it's absolutely gross. And the fact that they play all of this off as a joke makes things a thousand times worse. A thousand times worse. And it doesn't matter if these characters are fictional or if they're real people. It's still absolutely awful. So don't go around kinning characters like Sal or Ivlis or Satanic. And let's be real. Back when I still was supporting Deep Sea Prisoner and their works, I was a huge Ivlis simp. I was. But not anymore. Never again. I also, at one point... Was a simp for satanic as well. But. Not anymore. Iblis sexually assaulted Yosefire because of her glasses. I advise you do more research on this. I. Feel so bad because. I have supported them literally until today, and now I will no longer be. I will be unfollowing them on social media, I will be blocking them on social media, and I advise you do the same. And... Please go find game devs who are rape and sexual assault survivors that make horror RPG games that don't have characters that constantly rape people. Because that kind of thing is unacceptable. If you are looking for horror RPG dev recommendations, I highly recommend Horror Shop. They've made games like The Child, Mother, in Space Yandere. They also make a lot of horror RPG remixes that do not directly support Deep Sea Prisoner because they have done two remixes, as far as I'm aware, of songs from their games. And they do not directly support Phonomacy. 
and I totally think it's okay to like the music and stuff. Like, I love the music from Ogoko Castle. But do it, like, like listen to it in a way that isn't directly, actually doesn't support the creator at all. Because they don't get funded from me because this was a whole free project. So, go listen to the soundtrack on YouTube through this one particular channel that I have the playlist uh, for my Gecko Castle saved. Because I love that soundtrack so much. But, don't do anything that could directly support. Please do not buy merch of any of their work because these characters a lot of them are disgusting with a few exceptions of course but most of them are awful awful beings so take this with a grain of salt support with Support listening to the music and stuff like that, like remixes and stuff. But please take caution and be aware that the things that Mogeko has done are awful. Also, let's mention the meaning of Mogeko. Doesn't it literally mean, like, child groper? Because that's that just makes things worse. And they went by Mogeko and child groper for a while. Like, what the fuck? That makes things a thousand times worse. A thousand times worse. So, do not play the games. If you like the music, I don't care. Go listen to it. But just don't do anything that could directly support the creator. Don't follow them on social media. Block them on social media. And, yeah. So, <clears throat> that's basically all I have to say. Uh, I still love the music from Wadnohara and Mageko Castle, and that's okay. You can still love the soundtracks. Music is music. But don't do anything that directly supports a problematic creator. Because that just makes you part of the problem. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I hope to get back to my regular scheduled programming soon. Uh, I don't know what I'll be posting next, but I just wanted to get that out there because I've seen a lot of... I saw a lot of Mageko Castle hate and I was like, why are people hating on that game? I love that game. And now I know why and I am no longer supporting its creator. And I highly advise you do the same. So, yeah. With that, with that out of the way, I'm super glad I talked about this. This is a really important subject to discuss. So, yeah, I'm glad I'm glad I touched on upon it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content. Hopefully not like this. I will be like no longer posting Mokeko content on my page. That's why I took my Mokeko Castle video down. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Leave a like. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.